Before moving on to ferromagnetism or ferromagnetic interaction, uh, there are a few things I would like to mention. One is it's possible to have a paramagnetic gas. An example is oxygen. Uh, in the case of oxygen, which has 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 electronic configuration, the oxygen O2 molecule has sp3 hybridized orbitals, which are completely filled, and there are two electrons in the anti-bonding uh, orbitals, uh, which have uh, the same spin direction due to uh, Pauli, well, due to Hans rules, basically to maximize the spin in which case the oxygen gas acts like a, a paramagnet. So uh, you can read more about this in the book. Uh, what I would like to consider uh, in more detail is adiabatic demagnetization because this is a very important application uh, to go down to millikelvin temperature. So this is especially important for technique for lo low temperature physics. So the procedure is as follows. We have a paramagnet that is inside a dewer uh, which is filled with liquid helium. So the liquid helium fixes the temperature to 4.2 Kelvin. By pumping on the liquid helium, we decrease the temperature even below 4.2 Kelvin. And when we apply a magnetic field, the paramagnetic moments uh, are uh, basically ordered. And when we turn off the magnetic field, in order to uh, go to a disordered configuration at equilibrium, when the paramagnetic moments are uh, re getting randomly oriented, they absorb uh, thermal energy from the environment and therefore cause a decrease in the energy of the uh, sample. So uh, the procedure is a cool a paramagnet at uh, to 4.2 Kelvin. This is by inserting into uh, liquid helium. In the presence of a strong magnetic field. So we make sure that it's completely magnetized. Uh, if the paramagnet is thermally isolated, uh, that is, it's encapsulated by a vacuum jacket, uh, when the field is turned off, the spins will absorb thermal energy to randomize, uh, which will decrease the temperature further. So a thermally isolated um, paramagnet So it's inside a dewer which is thermally isolated. Uh, when H is turned off, the paramagnetic moments uh, or the spins will absorb thermal energy. to maximize entropy, basically uh, in order to get a <coughs> random orientation of moments. So uh, this technique can be used to obtain millikelvin temperatures. It's a quite useful technique for uh, low temperature physics. And here you see the mechanism uh, where the, uh, mag the spins are absorbing thermal energy in order to randomize their direction orientation. Okay, so adiabatic demagnetization is an important technique that to obtain millikelvin temperatures. We use a, a paramagnet uh, whose 
spins are randomly oriented at zero field, but when we apply a strong magnetic field, they're ordered and it's inserted into a liquid helium which on which we pump so that we decrease the temperature even further. And when the field is turned off, the spins absorb thermal energy and orient randomly, which will decrease the temperature even further.